in a Ford. Rookie Harrison Burton in a Ford. Alex Bowman for Team Hendrick. Bubba Wallace will start fifth. Austin Dillon lines up sixth. Chase Briscoe. Brad Keselowski and Martin Truex. All right, Tony, where's your eyes out on this one? Shake it big time. Where are these guys going to go? Well, I think especially in this heat race, you've got guys that qualified poorly. That's exactly that, right. That practiced really well. And then you got some guys that are big names at the back of this field that struggled a little bit yesterday. And those big names, champions, guys, Martin Truex Jr., Brad Keselowski coming from the back. They've got to go 25 laps. We'll come green this time. 25 green flag laps for qualifying heat number two. Reddick and Custer, the front row, and we're under green. Whoa, Custer, wide off turn two, and they're three wide. Who thought we'd see three wide in the Coliseum? Almost four wide. He was as Briscoe stuck the nose down underneath. That is costly for Cole Custer. Didn't now, like Bowman it, way wide. Back. That outside groove, something in turn two, and the three abreast again. Chase Briscoe started seventh, and in one lap has got himself in a transfer spot. Here's what three wide into the corner looks like. <laughs> Bob Wallace, Alex Bowman, and way to the outside, Cole Custer. That's what we would expect to see in the clash at Daytona. Not the LA Coliseum. Yeah, on a two and a half mile track. But in defense of Cole Custer, that's where you don't want to be. That outside front row, we knew it was going to be trouble for some of these guys. He got in a little bit hard, slid up the racetrack, opened the door for those guys to get into him. Bubba Wallace did the, bump, did the bump and run on rookie Harrison Burton in the 21, so Bubba's up to second. Tyler Reddick in a runaway. Chase Briscoe. And then Austin Dillon now in the final transfer spot. Boy, things change quickly. Well, I think we've answered already in less than two full heat races whether you're going to be able to pass here. This is going to be great racing all day long. And I think you take advantage of somebody's bobble. You know, make a mistake, slip up on the corner. You've got to be there for the taking. Absolutely. And the biggest thing is be aware of what's going on in front of you. If you see two guys racing, make sure you put yourself in a position to take advantage of somebody gets shuffled to the outside. Still at the back, past champions Martin Truex and Brad Keselowski in a new ride. As we look at the second and third place battle, Briscoe trying to get to the front. Here he comes. And let me tell you something I saw earlier in practice. Chase Briscoe, one of the only guys that's actually shifting on this racetrack, he scored it off that corner, got a huge run on Bubba Wallace going down the back straight. I think that's what you saw right there. And he drives away. You can see him shift right there. Now a downshift. That's pretty incredible. Hard to do in a you know, tight quarter racetrack like this. Not only tight corners, short straightaways. You don't have a lot of time for the upshift and downshift all in the same straightaway. He and told we're us talking about the straightaway that's not straight. Right. He told us yesterday he started doing that in practice. That became part of his rhythm. He's comfortable. He's used to doing it, and it's working. But it didn't work last night in qualifying. Too much, too soon in a qualifying run. The tires weren't underneath of him. He spun and really got mired back in traffic. Now, under race conditions, very good. Austin Dillon closing to the back bumper of Bubba Wallace. Wallace a little high in two, but it gives him a good launch off the corner. And Bubba was a guy we saw in practice yesterday that did not have speed. He was last on the speed chart, but he's nice and solid in the show so far. One of the things that I see with Bubba Wallace, though, car really took off on a short run. With only 25 laps, you can do some things with air pressure. Bump them tires up. They'll take off, but they might fall off at the back of a run. That's might be what you see with Bubba. Austin right, Dillon. You get to your bumper in the center, pulled by a car up off. Austin Dilla drives for his grandfather, Hall of Famer Richard Childress, who began his racing career selling peanuts in the grandstand at a quarter-mile racetrack like this. So barely, still there. Dillon makes the pass, and that puts Bubba Wallace on the hot seat. Nine laps to go. And Cole Custer, who started this race on the outside pole, closes in on Wallace with a chance to make the show. It just looks like he needed to get some laps to get some heat in the tires and get himself off that top lane to get to the bottom. 
fell back quite a ways and is making ground up in a hurry. And on the flip side of that, I see Bubba already having seven. to protect. Can't get in, in the corner, washing up in the middle, and here comes Cole Custer. The hard thing is you really can't protect it. We talked about it yesterday in practice, and we knew this was going to be the scenario today. You can guard the entry, but you can't guard the exit. That's exactly right. Wallace of the 23 drops in and now has another look at the outside. And what he, with six to go. What, what he means by that is if you, if you opt to use that line, shoot down in the bottom to protect that line, it shoots you way high on the outside and opens the door up for Alex Bowman to get underneath of you. Exactly what you see right there. How do you play offense and defense at the same time? Well, watch Bubba Wallace. And that's exactly what we're seeing with Cole Custer, too. He, he made the pass, ran Bubba down, got by, but now is in defense mode. And the line he's running is actually costing him time. So it's it's a balancing act of sitting there knowing that the preferred line that you need to run will make time and you'll get away, but you have to get enough of a gap to leave that door open on the entry. Laps winding down, Cole Custer creating some distance between himself and Bubba Wallace for that last transfer spot. Tyler Reddick has led every lap. He just ran away and hid, and good for him. He's got a straightaway lead. And sitting pretty for the feature. White flag, one to go. Final lap, none of the transfer positions in doubt. Checkered flag for the California kid, Tyler Reddick. Thanks work, man. Good job on your line. Stuff done a lot better, two, three, four. Chase Briscoe, Austin Dillon, Cole Custer will be the transfer drivers from qualifying.